Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So we are in the beauty cabana. I know I kind of like blend into the background, but I'm so excited to share a hair tutorial with you. We haven't done a hair tutorial in quite a while, so you know what I'm ready for. Let's get this beauty started. So we are going to start from the very beginning. I have a very exciting new tool that I have been using and trying out. So I love these hair wraps, it, of course. It is a tropical theme. Got this last year and it absorbs so well into, or so, absorbs all of that water so well into this little microfiber towel. If you're using a regular towel on your hair, ladies, it's the wrong thing to use. If you are towel drying your hair, lots of breakage, lots of frizz. So you wanna put your hair in something like this that is going to right when you get out of the shower just put it up and it's going to just take away a lot of that moisture so you have less drying time when you are drying your hair so i will list below all of the products that i used in the shower because i did a lot of purple action on my hair today because <laughs> i was thinking i need to just really i'm always wanting to brighten it up i usually do a lot of the purple um mixtures of the mask and the, the shampoos and a double cleanse when I see my hair getting a little dull. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna show you the products. There's some new products that I'm using that I'm going to put into my hair. The first one is going to be my favorite from Kirastas. This is a blow dry cream. It really, I really feel like the reason I started using this was because it smells so good. And then I, the, my stylist was using it on me and I've just always been using it and I love it. It's a heat protectant, so it's nice and light. It's a beautiful cream. So I put this into my hair first and then I just take it kind of like mid. I don't usually put a lot on my crown of my hair. I usually just go kind of like mid to the ends. And then I go right into putting on a volumizing mousse. Now this is from Kirastas also. My stylist used this. I texted him after because I was like, I love how my hair looks. What did you use? This is something different he used on my hair. And it's a mousse, beautiful volumizing. And I just, you know, it's funny with mousse, you feel like you're using a lot, but you're not because it just expands. And then you put it into the hair, into the roots and then pull through. So now that the mousse is in my hair, I'm going to take something that is going to really help with my frizz. This is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. Silky smooth, humidity resistant. Yes, please. So I only use, I don't even do a full pump because it's so concentrated. So I'll take this into the tips of my fingers and then I really concentrate on this area that I've seen a lot of frizz. I don't love it. I've mentioned this multiple times before. I really don't get frizzy hair all around. I get it right in this area and right underneath here. So that's really my concentration with this serum. So the idea here for fall for me is to get a little bit of personality to my hair instead of just doing a round brush bob that I've done for forever. You know, I don't really do a lot of texture in my hair. It's really sleek. It's really kind of just smooth. And I wanted to have something different. So this is going to be using a different styler than I have been using. I've showed you my four in one styler I got on Amazon. I, sp I spent under $50. I did it for a salon blowout in 2020 because I was always going to dry bar for my features on HSN or my photo shoots. So I was doing that two or three times a month, getting my hair blown out. And then that wasn't happening anymore. So I turned to the four in one styler, which was really, really great. So I've been using this for almost two years, but I've noticed recently in those areas that I said that they seem to be, it's a little bit too much heat on my hair in those areas. And when I was in Las Vegas at a hair care booth, the stylist that is their like national stylist came up to me and told me like I was he's like oh I see you put a lot of heat on your hair and um, you're hurting the cuticle and I was like and this is exactly what I thought so I decided to get the air the Dyson air wrap because I've been looking at it for the past year and a half or two years and I was like well it's really kind of pricey but then I thought to myself well I really need to preserve my hair I want to try it as a beauty influencer on short hair because I've seen everyone use it for long hair but will it really work on short hair so that was really my focus and concentration also by being able to kind of control the heat and it has a cool setting also so that was really interesting to me so with this Dyson Airwrap 
It was sold out at Sephora and Ulta. I could never get it. I was trying to get it when I could get a discount. And then I finally found it on Best Buy and ordered it through Best Buy. So that was um, just lucky that I could do that. They also do price matching if you find it cheaper somewhere else, I know that they will price match it for you. So it's weird though, because a Dyson Airwrap comes in this big box and it's really hard to like find a place to store it. So I thought that was something that I didn't really love about just the actual, <laughs> the, just the actual kind of containing it, but it's really neat because it comes with the, dry, the blow dryer. It comes with four of the Airwrap stylers. There's two, basically there's four of them, two different sizes. So you use, them on either the right side or the left. They have arrows showing you what side you're supposed to use them on. They have a volumizer, which is like the round brush, which is really nice. They have a smoother, and let me see what it's actually really called though. They have two different ones that is a soft smooth brush, and then they have the firm smoothing brush. So you have a lot of options, a lot of ways to really create a beautiful look. So I'm going to use the first attachment, which is the blow dryer, and I'm going to blow out my hair. And now I found that I don't spend that much time blow drying my hair. It really dries it very fast. I'm not gonna dry it all the way dry because I want to be able to use the stylers and I want to really be able to get a beautiful look without using too much heat. So you'll see that I didn't spend that much time blow drying my hair. I wanted really to concentrate on the roots and having that be dry. Everything else can stay wet. And then I'm going to just section off my hair and then I put it up in just a clip. So I put it up like this and then I'm gonna work on sections of my hair. So I'm gonna take off, there's a little release button here. I'm gonna take this off and I am going to put the styler on. Something that I do like about this is that they have a cool up at the top here you can pick up or remove your uh, styler from the cool tip. So I don't really have that on this here. It's a little bit harder when, when it comes to taking that head off. It's a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna go in and just really smooth out my hair and really get a beautiful volumizing look. What's really nice about this is that I can feel the lift. I don't feel it when I use this. Now it could be because this is a bigger head and it's not giving off the same amount of direct heat going into the hair. I also love the fact that I have cool setting, a medium and a high. So I, this medium is what I'm on. I'm not on the highest setting, but I'm really getting this beautiful lift to my hair that I normally have to work really hard and spend a lot of time with the original styler that I got on Amazon to really get that curl going and I think that's where I ran into some problems. I'm spending too much time with the heat on my hair and being able to do it quicker with this one. You can see that there is a lot more root lift. Now that is also because I did a volumizing mousse but having this head be a little bit smaller, getting in there, you're seeing that it's lifting off the head. And that's something that I really noticed was different than using my other styler is that I'm getting that lift and it's staying like that. So could I stop here and put in Velcro curlers and really get this really beautiful volume and have that kind of volume-esque look? Yes, absolutely. And that's what I do some of the time. But recently I wanted to have something more than just smooth and volume. So I left it where there, it's a little damp still. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go in with that texture and really get really give that wave to my hair. It lasts for days, which is really nice. And I'm gonna show you in a minute what I do to preserve my hair so I don't have to wash it constantly. So a lot of you have said something about my hair color. It's different. I have different beauty lights on me right now, so it's giving more of a steel gray look to my hair, but my hair is the same color. It's just I'm in different lighting. I'm in the beauty cabana. I'm not in the studio right now. I will be back in the studio, but we are just 
experimenting with new locations. So this is the air wrap for the right side. So it has these arrows showing you that you would be twisting back on your right hand side. So I like to just really do the front part of my hair. I really don't have to do the back really. I mean, that's not really my focal point. So what I do again, I'm going to just take my hair up. So I'm getting down at the base here and I'm giving that texture. So I always have to separate my hair. I can't just go from the top. It just doesn't work. So I'm going to just take it again, pull it back up and I'm going to take these pieces, but I really want you to recognize that there is so much lift and there's not a lot of frizz. If we come in closer, you'll see, I don't have all of this frizz that I normally would have from using something that is just too hot on my hair. Now this worked for me for a certain amount of time until my hair was like, you know what, it's too hot and I'm showing you that. So I have to pivot when my hair or my skin tells me, hey, that's this isn't working. Um, that's why it's an investment for me. Yes, it's very expensive, this Dyson hair wrap, but I thought, well, I can't keep damaging my hair and then having to do things at the salon to correct that, whether it is hot oil treatments or deep, treatments or whatever I would have to do on a professional level. Let me just change up my heat on my hair, really work with my hair, especially gray hair, because if too much heat, it turns yellow, etc. So this was something that was my hair I felt really needed, but I love that it gives you so much shine, so much bounce just by using the volumizer. So now I'm going to go in and show you how it just grabs onto the hair and it pulls it back and gives it something totally different. So it's interesting because my hair is short and I've only seen really long haired people do that. So with my hair, yes, I have blown it so it's going to be going under. So this takes a little bit more for mine because I have stronger hair, but I do, I want that volume, but then I also want to start giving it that bend. It takes me, not the first try, but it takes a couple times just to start getting it to kind of do a little wave. And then once I bring out the top, it's really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna take off the head from this one and go into the left side. So the little arrows are going to be facing the left side of my head. So I'm going to just go in and just do a little bit on the front part here on the top and just get that texture going. So I have texture that I normally couldn't get. If you saw me recently with one of my videos doing the curling iron, I had the T3 and it's beautiful. I had it when I had long hair and it is 
a basically push a button and it just it's like a beach wave one where it rotates the barrel well the barrel is just very it's great but not for short hair but the barrel the clip is so short and the barrel so long and I could never get my my short hair in it and you saw me at the beginning of the video it was just it's just frustrating and it was just really time consuming and so this is so much easier for me just to get some texture I'm not trying to do my whole my whole head I'll go back in with the little bit of the serum, the skinny serum, and I'm just going to make sure that I can just finish up the ends with it. So I have some weight to the ends. It's not too kind of all over the place. I can spray it also, but it gives me something different. I like how it has the volume. I like how it flips up. I like how it does its own thing. Revlon, this is my quick dry 18 hairspray, instant finishing hairspray. It's not too hard. It's really beautiful. It's not a hard, stiff hairspray. I don't like hard, stiff hairsprays. I like it when it's just enough to hold shape, just look really pretty. But um, it's funny, I keep looking at my hair thinking to myself, oh my gosh, this I have these cool lights on it. That's why it's turning it that kind of like that silvery steel color. It's def definitely interesting. But this is basically what I do now with the Dyson Airwrap with short hair, with the bob, just to give it something different, to not just do the same thing. I have options with their smoothing brushes if I really want that sleek, smooth look, not volume. So I feel like I have a lot of options within one styler. They have a filter on here too that they come. it comes with a filter cleaner that you can use this to clean the filter out. Also, you can really maintain your Dyson and it's not super loud, which is really nice. It's not like a lot of these other ones and then they get super hot and then you get you burn your hands when you're taking things off or just handling it. So that was really what I wanted to do is just to give texture something different, but also be really cognizant of how much heat am I really putting on my hair? Why is it frizzing out so uncontrollably now? And I knew it was from just my hair maxed out with this styler and it served its purpose for almost two years, which is a great, really inexpensive investment. But then I knew I had to pivot when I was looking at my hair and trying to work with it and not wanting to keep you know, that, that basically taking out all the moisture that my hair had. I worked so hard on my hair with all the different products. And speaking of that, washing my hair, I wash it every about three to four days, every three to four days, depending on my photo shoot schedule, etc. But to get that lasting, to get this looking the same and really that root lift, I do use the chlorine. This is the dry shampoo, dry shampoo with nettle. This is oil control. And then I have a travel size one that has with oat milk. Very gentle on the hair. This again sprays white, which you know I love because I like to brighten my hair. Sometimes it gets dull when you're not washing it as frequently. So I like to preserve that, kind of just streak it out with some of the dry shampoo. And that's really what I've been doing and I love the results. I love how simple, I love how my hair just looks like I put those Velcro curlers in it, but I didn't. So I, I still do that, but this is really fun, lots of volume. And I think that you would really like this if you did feel it was right for you and your budget and what you're doing with your hair. So if you have short hair, know that you can use the Dyson Airwrap Styler. You are, it doesn't, you don't have to have long hair as I've showed, I do kind of still do the curler and I know you just have to go back and forth like this so I don't have to do as much work as I was kind of showing you but I'm just really getting used to how simple it is and how easy it is on my hair and really getting beautiful results. So if you like this video, share it with your friends, expose them to some new options that they could do with their hair. I'm going to be showing you a lot of hair tutorials that don't include Dyson Hair Wrap. You know I love my Velcro curlers, giving you that very great, beautiful volume, very inexpensive. So we're all over the board, showing you lots of different things that could possibly work for you. We do budget when we go to Amazon for less than $50. I show you something that's working for my hair now that is more of an investment for me. And then I show you Velcro curlers that you can get for five, $6 at the drugstore. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.